Hello and welcome to my operator tips videos. In this episode, I'd like to talk a little bit more about our operator ID as well as our machine security. For you, the owner, what that allows you to do is actually program up to 25 unique operator codes. And then for the operator, the benefit for you guys is that when you put in your operator code and you set up the machine to be comfortable for your preferences and your settings, when you shut the machine off, it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna log all those settings for you so that the next time you jump back in the machine, especially if you're running multi-shift operations, you can simply punch in your code, all the settings will come right back the way that you had them so that you're comfortable with the machine. So now let's jump up in the cab and see how we can enter that code and change those settings. All right, now that we're in the machine, in order to get into the menu structure to change some of these settings, we wanna go ahead and press the little wrench symbol. That'll bring up our service mode. We wanna go ahead and scroll down. As you can see here, the service mode, select that. Now we have to put in the service mode passcode in order to enable that service mode. Once that's enabled, click OK and then head back. So we'll go ahead and select configurations under machine. Now you can see our operator ID. Now I'm going to go ahead and press the operator ID. That brings up a couple of options for us. Of course we can leave it disabled. There will be no setting or requirement for the operator to punch in their ID. Or we have two other settings. One is enabled. If that setting is enabled, then that will require the operator to go ahead and enter their ID. Also to note, uh, the default setting will be 1111 as the security feature. And then finally, this is kind of an enhancement above and beyond the operator ID code that is similar to other CAT products to where basically the machine will not be able to crank or start the engine until the operator ID is entered into the display. You have to wait until the system is booted up in order to put the code in in order to crank and start the engine. So that's just a little nuance there. Go ahead and if we click enable, and then I'm gonna go ahead and exit out. Disable that service mode. So now, the next time that the machine is started, I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down here, just so you can see. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and restart the machine. Go ahead and key on. So now, as you can see, when the menu pops up, now it's asking for the operator ID. So again, that default number that we had was 1111. So I'm gonna click OK. With our rear object detection system, we're gonna go ahead and press OK. And now we're back into the system. And as you can see from the light menus, the system is set up just the way I left it. So as an example, if you wanted to come into the machine and change the settings by going into range three, if you wanted to enable your return to dig or bucket level kick out and your lower kick out, you could go ahead and set those settings, turn the engine off. And now the next time you go ahead and log into the system, if those buttons were disabled or as an example, if you change the setting, it will go right back to the way that I had them based on my preference. For more information on these features or others, please visit your local cat dealer. Thank you and have a good day.